women tend to suffer more from bad water than men. It's interesting because, you know, most people are drinking plastic bottled water and it's pure water and it's sucking those toxins out of the plastic, storing that plastic residual in their breast tissue. And that's, mm. that's, that's a big issue. Women particularly need to not be bathing and showering in chlorine, nor should they be drinking out of plastic. All right, guys, here with Ken Gawain, founder and CEO of Ophora. I'm sure you guys have been seeing these guys everywhere. Thanks for coming on, man. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Appreciate yeah. it. What you pulled off here is in such a short time is incredible to watch, honestly, because this feels like a pretty new brand, right? Well, it's about actually about 15 years. Oh, wow. Uh, who, who, Air One kind of put us on the map, though. Got it. They they found us and love, we're, their, we're their best-selling premium water. Really? Yeah. They just came out with their own. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 they yeah. saw how much you guys were yeah. doing and got a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When did they uh, find you guys? Uh, about three years ago. Okay. And uh, we're, we're their best selling premium functional water. That's incredible. And, and we call this functional water. Yeah. It, it really does benefit your health. So it's also medical, right? Yeah, it's medical grade water. Right. Which is why it's bottled in plastic, it's, it's nano pure. Mm. Uh, and you have to bottle nano pure water in glass because it'll leach the. It's water, you know, I don't know if you've heard this, but it's called the, you know, pure water is called the universal solvent. So it'll mm. absorb anything it comes in contact with. Interesting. So we have to bottle in glass. Right. Because if it was in plastic, it's just microplastics. Well, and that's the problem with plastic. I mean, it, all, most plastic bottled water is RO water, which is pretty pure water. So mm. it's literally sucking the toxins out of the plastic and people are consuming it. And that's, that, that's, disgusting. An issue. <laughs> that's an issue. That's an issue. <laughs> yeah. I actually flew with this from Vegas. Yeah. Did you get through TSA? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, I mean, they stopped me, but I just showed them the back where yeah. it says medical grade and they let me through. It's pretty amazing. We're, we have people doing that now. And yeah. As far as I know, we're the only uh, water that's getting nah, through TSA. You're definitely the first because <laughs> people are just finding out about it now. Yeah. It's at exciting. The airport. Even yeah. the employees were like, we're going to buy that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you got a great product, man. Yeah. Thank and you, you. did you have patents for this company? So, yeah, I'm actually an inventor and uh, I have four, I've been in the water space as it relates to health and wellness for about 35 years. And I have four patents on this water. It's, it's not, it's, it's, um, it's not easy to make. Mm. I bet. So the uh, filters, the home filter you sell is pretty expensive, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, but it, again, it's nano purified medical grade water and, uh, it's hyper oxygenated 40 parts per million. So, mm. uh, it's, uh, you know, the kids call it crack water. It's very, very energizing. <laughs> yeah. Does it filter out fluoride and uh, chlorine? Everything. Yeah, the hardest thing to remove from water today is actually the pharmaceuticals. Oh, uh, the PFAs? Yeah, I mean, you know, and most of the pollutants we come in contact with every day is actually from not only drinking the water, drinking bad water, but mm -hmm. showering and bathing in, in, in the water. Our skin's our largest organ. And, 80% of the pollutants we come in contact with is from bathing and showering. Right. Well, so. there was a new study. They found 100% in of microplastics in people's testicles. Oh, men's oh yeah. Testicles. It, it's everywhere. It's yeah. probably from showering and bathing in it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's That's really most, most of the problems are from bathing and showering. Hmm. So, so is there... You have a filter for the shower, right? So we have a shower. You know, we, we, we manufacture this water, of course, but we also manufacture and sell the systems to make this water. Got and it. We have whole home systems that will literally filter all the water coming into your house. <sighs> wow, I need that. I'm buying is, a house, so I'm going to text you, you. You do need that yeah. at some point. Uh, and, and, you know, they're not they're not inexpensive, but uh, we also have what we call point-of-use systems where you can we can actually – we have a, a what we call a bio shower, and mm. it filters out most of the pollutants. Oh, so. that's nice. Well, when it comes then, to health, I can I can justify six thousand if it's going to improve my health a lot. Def, definitely. Yeah. And uh, for now, you can just put a bio, uh, you know a bio shower in, and that's that'll filter out. Uh, okay, so that's one you screw on, or yeah, got yeah, it. yeah, yeah. yeah. Looking at that too. So, what about baths? Same thing with baths. I mean, you know. Um, the the issue, you know, most women really like taking baths, yeah. and, and the thing with with the, the the municipal water is that um, it, it it has a lot of chlorine in it, and mm -hmm. the chlorine. You, so, like you took a shower this morning, yep. you're wearing a chlorine shell on your skin, and that forms with your uh, organic matter. It forms a very carcinogenic material called chloramine. Wow! And uh, all the skin cancer that they attribute to the sun isn't from the sun because people are getting skin cancer where the sun doesn't shine. So, <laughs> uh, uh, so you know, it, it's this. Chlorine's an issue. 
That's crazy. Yeah. So you want to you you know you, you don't want to bathe and shower in chlorinated water. So no swimming pools either. No. So, uh, but we have organic swimming pool systems. Oh, yeah. We market as well. So. I'm going to hit you yeah. up for that too. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because yes. I do miss the pool and hot tub. I actually stopped going in as much because yeah. of that reason. Well, actually. It's a good reason. Uh, so we uh, we manufacture pool and spa systems. In fact, my very first patent when I was a senior at the University of Michigan was mm. for a chlorine free swimming pool. Wow. It was the best system then. It still is today. So you've been doing this for a while. Been doing it a while. That's impressive. Yeah, since my 20s. Why do, why do you think those pools didn't take off? Because I feel like everyone still uses chlorine. Chlorine's a commodity product. It's a dollar a gallon. Right. Uh, so, but, but you have to use an oxidizer. And our go-to oxidizer is 35% food-grade hydrogen peroxide. Mm. It's actually a stronger oxidizer than chlorine. Um, and the only byproduct is pure oxygen. Mm. So it's, it's a healthy alternative to chlorine. And then, wow. then we integrate UV and ozone and, uh, and it gives you, you know, nano pure water. You're basically bathing and showering and swimming and soaking in yeah. this type of water. I don't know if you've seen the studies on people that bathe with this, Yeah, but the results are crazy. They, they are. They are. So uh, I have a hyperoxygenated hot tub at home and I, I soak every day in it. And, uh, you know, you're, a good overall indication of your health is your oxygen saturation. So mm. I don't know if you've ever had your oxygen, you know, it's called a, a pulse oxygen. I haven't tested it, no. Okay. So most people, you want to be 95% saturated at least. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, most people run 95, 96. I run 100% all the Holy time. Holy crap. And at my age, that's a pretty profound. So, yeah. And that's because I soak in this water every day, and I also drink a gallon of it every day. So you're reverse aging. So, well, yeah. I mean, I, I run circles around most of my young, younger <laughs> I staff. That. So Yeah, I yeah. drink two of these a day also. That's fantastic. Yeah, I Good feel for you. great because I used to you. drink tap water. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 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 I mean, I thought Brita was actually filtering it because of their marketing and... You know, the Brita's and those smaller filters, they, if you remove 20% of the chlorine, the water tastes terrific. Mm. Uh, but 80% of it's still there. So, <laughs> Jeez. yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, they don't they do not do much. Yeah, this water has a very unique taste. Is that from the oxygen? It's from, it, it's the nano purity. Uh, we use really high grade minerals to raise the pH. This mm. water is pH balanced. We, we like between 8.0 and 8.5. You'll see pH waters out there up, upwards of nine, nine and a half percent. Yeah, I've seen that. And that's too high. That, you that think can, so? Yeah, it, it causes problems, particularly for women. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. What, what, what problem would that cause? Well, a lot of yeast infections and things like that. Mm. So, uh, you know, Women tend to suffer more from bad water than men. Um, it, it's it's interesting because, you know, most people are drinking plastic bottled water and it's pure water and it's sucking those toxins out of the plastic and and they're storing that plastic residual in their breast tissue and that's mm. that's that's a big issue. So interesting. Women particularly need to not be bathing and showering in chlorine, nor should they be drinking out of plastic. Period. Wow. End of story. I've been I've been preaching this for years, but. All plastic bottled water is reverse osmosis water, which is really pretty pure water. And water in its purest form, again, you'll hear me say it, 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 it's, it's the universal solvent and it'll literally suck those toxins out of the plastic. And you're, you're consuming those. Yeah. And for women, that's the go-to place to store them. So it's an issue. And miscarriage rates are at all-time highs. Yeah, and you know, women aren't getting pregnant. And I mean, I, I know a lot of young people today are, you know, they're trying to get pregnant, can't. Right, uh, same. Yeah, it, it's a, it's an issue. So yeah, uh, they're spending it, months and years. Yeah, and it's, it's the plastic residual. I mm. mean, that's what, that's what mainstream medicine is even saying. So yeah, the uh, fact that mainstream medicine is even saying it. Yeah, that's when you know it's bad. That's right. right? That's right. Um, so yeah. what's the fix if you have all this plastic in you? Can you get that out? Well. It takes time, but yes, you can. And you, the first thing you have to do is eliminate bathing and showering in municipal water. Mm -hmm. I mean, the municipalities are doing the best they can uh, with the tools they have, but they just, they're just they unable to remove all these forever chemicals. And, you know, again, yeah. you know, the, and they, their answer is to keep putting more and more chlorine in the water. And chlorine is a highly, highly carcinogenic material. That's so. disgusting. Did you see LA announced they're going to combine the wastewater with the municipal that's, water? That's, that's, that's the future. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I tell people tap water is good for one thing and that's putting out fires. <laughs> you shouldn't be drinking it. And, 
you shouldn't be giving it to your pets. Yeah. Uh, People wash their fruits and vegetables with it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you, 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 you need to purify your water at home. Yeah. You just can't drink tap water. You shouldn't be doing anything with it, really. Yeah, my so, dogs drink this now, for this, real. It's, it's worth the money. They yeah. look a lot yeah. better. Their their skin feels softer. You're going to have a lot of less issues with them too. Yeah. So you know, cats tend to get a lot of urinary tract infections, and this water would, would just like fix that. So wow. Yeah, your animals should. I, I don't know why people are giving their animals tap water because it's just yeah, it's they're, terrible. They're poisoning but, them. But basically. they're taught that. I mean, we were taught growing up that you drink tap water too. Well, yeah. I mean, when I was growing up, tap water was actually pretty good. I yeah. Mean, it's just uh, they drink just, out of the hose back then, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but now it's just too many chemicals, I guess, in too, the water. Too many chemicals, especially in dense populations like L.A. I yeah. mean, you know, uh, it's, you know, we have a lot of people consuming a lot of pharmaceutical drugs and, and they end up in the water. Mm. So, you know, if, you know, like I say, you know, I'm bathing in women's hormones <laughs> bathing in my testosterone. I mean, that's the end of the story. Yeah, you know, yeah they're finding birth control in there, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, all these ED problems aren't, aren't necessarily, they're, 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 they're from that issue. It's the pharmaceuticals wow. in the water. When you guys come into more stores, because I, I live in Vegas, I can't find this in stores there. Yeah, um, we're, we're going to get there. But most, most of our sales, you know, we really promote online. Oh, and, yeah? And there's a 10% discount when you buy online. Okay. So... Uh, you, your go-to should just be going online. Got it. <laughs> yeah, because you guys are in Erewhon everywhere, but I feel like yeah. no other states, right, in person. Uh, no, no, we're, we're we're in specialty markets like Air, like Air One stores Got it. Uh, around the country. I we're, feel like we're, Sprouts or Whole Foods. We're we're in Sprouts. Oh, you are. Yeah, huh? and we're Bristol Farms. We're in Lazy Acres. Uh, you know, we're in, we're in the higher end markets. Yeah, well, that makes sense because it's well, people say yeah. it's expensive, but yeah, you're, you're paying for health. I mean, yeah, you know, if you think about it, I mean, I had a Starbucks just before I came in here. It was eight dollars. <laughs> so I mean, you know. So it's all relative. It's all relative. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's one of those things, though, because people are so used to paying for cheap plastic water bottles that they see that and they're like kind of disgusted. Yeah. But it's reprogramming. Yeah. Needed. Probably the best selling plastic bottle of water is Costco water. Yeah. It's like and, 25 and, cents. And, and, <laughs> and the plastic, you know, it's really, if you you look at the plastic bottle of water, the plastic bottles they're using, it's just, uh, they're real soft and pliable. And yeah. so that means that the water's really pulling out a lot of toxins. <sighs> Particularly if they're sitting in the back of your car and it's hot. Yeah, I used to drink those all the time too. Yeah, I mean they were so cheap. Yeah, twenty five cents in the vending machine. Now yeah. I know why. Yeah, yeah. and it was probably tap water. Well, this water is you know you're 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 purifying your body over time with this water. So yeah. this is how this this is the best way to eliminate the toxins That's that good. you accumulated over the years. So what do you think about spring water? You know, spring water, um, a lot of it's really good, um, but the groundwater, you know, we're actually finding more problems with the groundwater than we wow. are the municipal water. Really? Uh, like, particularly Hawaii, a lot of the cancer rates in Hawaii are really high. Holy uh, And the reason, if you think about it, all those plantations that you, they're, you know, they were growing pineapples and, you know, they were using pesticides. Mm. And uh, so the ground and the soil is really polluted and their water is not not good there i mean oh you gosh. would think hawaii would have really great yeah. water right well they don't that's crazy so yeah because they're so natural there but they're using pesticides <laughs> in hawaii too big time i mean not so much more previous in the previous you know last couple decades mm. but um but it's in the soil i mean it's you know you know i've heard stories of people you know runners that are running through the the, the pineapple orchards that used to be there mm -hmm. and, and the cancer rates are really high there they get cancer just from running. Yeah. yeah. Holy the, the, crap. Yeah, the soil is just uh the soil is so bad. That's a shame. So man. polluted. So yeah, yeah. you gotta be careful with fruits and vegetables because of the pesticides. Big time. And the water they yeah. use to water it. Yeah, big time. So uh, I, I honestly stopped eating most of it. Yeah, I mean that, that's what's so great about Air One is you you know you, you can go to that you, you know they you don't have to read labels there. Every, <laughs> yeah, every, everything's every, it's the best of the best. So. Yeah, I, I'm going there after this honestly because yeah. I just love it. Every time I'm yeah. in LA, I go there. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, I know I'm dropping three on it, but it's it, it's worth it's it. your health. Yeah, you know? so health. I don't is, health as well anymore. You don't know for sure. And you're yeah. looking great for your age, man. For yeah. real. Yeah, I mean, I you can't deny these results. No, and no. you attribute mainly to the water for sure.
Absol- absolutely. So, you know, drinking, it's really important, but uh, bathing and showering, it's the same thing. Right. I mean, your skin's your largest organ. Mm-hmm. So uh, People don't even think about the dangers of showering or bathing. No. And, uh, you know, uh, your oxygen level, what's really unique about this water, when I say it's functional water, uh, I mean, your oxygen saturation uh, of your body is a really good overall indicator of your health. Mm. Um and as you may or may not know, I don't know, you've had your oxygen with a pulse meter maybe when I was tested. In the ER, yeah, if you're yeah. in a hospital, yeah, if you're yeah. in a hospital, they tested your oxygen. So anything about above 95% saturation means you're healthy. Anything mm. below that means you have serious health issues. Wow, just from that one test. Yes. So you want to maintain your your saturation in the high high nineties. Uh, so most people are 96, 97. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you're young. You're, I, I, I'm pretty good at this. You're about a 98. Okay. <laughs> and uh, um, I run 100% all the time. Wow. Which for someone my age is is remarkable. Yeah. So uh, what separates like a 90 from 100, you think? Uh, it just, you know, we live in a, you know, there's less oxygen in the atmosphere. We're, we're breathing 21% oxygen here. Mm-hmm. Uh, the rest of it's pretty much nitrogen. The, it used to be higher. Mm. And... Um, and also, most people are shallow breathers. Most mm-hmm. people aren't getting enough exercise. They're sitting around. Uh, um, you you got to be, you know, you got to be moving. And uh, and you know, all di- all disease is hypoxic, which means you know, cancer loves you, you, cancer can't grow in a hype in an oxygenated environment. Mm. So, my chances of getting cancer are significantly reduced compared to people that are running maybe ninety five percent or lower. Wow. So the higher your oxygen levels, uh, your your greater opportunity for optimum health. Yeah. So I if mean, you're at a hunter, you almost can't get because no. <laughs> no. So all all disease is hypoxic, means low oxygen levels. So wow. if you can maintain higher oxygen levels, your chances of getting ill are significantly reduced. That's incredible. Cancer loves uh, a non oxygenated environment. Yeah. But it can't grow in 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 an in oxygen rich environment. That's cool. And you found all this out so early. You said in college you were working on this. Yes. I, mean, I feel like right now is where people are finding out, but you knew this 30, 40 years ago. You know, um the the the, the tap water's become so degraded uh, over over the years and I, I we we saw this happening and um I started addressing it many, many years ago and you know, we have to bottle this water in glass because of the purity. It's mm. so pure that, again, you know, it, it would be leaching if if it wasn't in, in if it wasn't in glass. Right. And, and glass is a bit of an issue. It's expensive to ship. It is. <laughs> you know, it's heavy. Yeah. It breaks. Uh, but it's really, if you have pure water, it's the only thing to to, to drink. Mm. You, you need to be drinking out of glass. Some Not, people do the aluminum cans. Have you aluminum seen that? or stainless. Yeah, stainless. Sta- stainless is the best. Okay. Uh, you know, stainless is non-leaching as well. Got so it. Glass, stainless, uh, just you know, stay away from plastic. Yeah. It's just, it's what just, about the pouches and the bo- the cardboard boxes? Um, there's nothing wrong with the cardboard boxes. Uh, the pouches are, are normal. You know, c- cans and pouches have a lining in them, mm. and uh, again, you'll keep. Pure water will absorb anything it comes in contact with, right. so it's going to be pulling, leak, pulling those uh, chemicals out of those pouches and yeah. plastic. Do you have a wellness spa also? Yes. So uh, and and we, well, we we sell we sell hyperoxygenated hot tubs oh, and spas. Okay. That's that's so. There's two ways to absorb oxygen and uh, soaking and drinking. Those are the two go tos, mm-hmm. and um, ideally. As you get old, I, I, when you turn 50 years old, you should be soaking in a hyperoxygenated hot tub every day. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Because your oxygen is down? Yes. So, uh, and when you combine drinking with it, you know, between the two, you're going to maintain those higher oxygen levels and your chance of getting sick or getting cancer as you age are mm-hmm. significantly reduced. Wow. When so, was the last time you were sick? Do you even remember? You know, uh, I, yeah, I mean, for my, yeah, I just don't get sick. <laughs> and if I do, uh, you know, it, it's like cleared up in a day. Nice. So, yeah. At, at your age, that's impressive yeah. for real. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been sick in a year Good ever for since you. I started taking health series. I used to get sick every month. Okay. Well, yeah. When I was drinking tap water and doing God yeah. knows what. I mean, it's hard to believe you were drinking tap water a year ago. I mean, out of a Brita, but yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, 
Yeah, there's not. They did well with their marketing. You got to admit, oh, absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah. And the water, like that, you know, the water tastes good. I mean, it's you take out twenty percent of the chlorine, and the water tastes great. Yeah. So uh, I mean, now they're getting sued, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. With that. I don't know yeah. the status of it. Yeah, the filters are just too small, and yeah. and that's generally the problem. Problem with the water improvement industry is uh, the, the the filtrations are all too small. So, absolutely. Uh, well, Ken, anything else you want to uh, promote or close off with? Well, I just think people, um, you know, we're, we're 70% water. Mm -hmm. uh, if you dehydrate our brain, it's the size of a walnut. Uh, so our brain is mostly water. Mm. Uh, it, it, it does matter the water you consume and, and bathe and shower in. It matters big time. Yeah. So uh, something people should consider. Yeah, look into filters, guys. Look into the quality of the water you're drinking. It's changed my life. It's changed yours. So definitely take a look, guys. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on, Ken. That was right. fun. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, see you guys okay. next time. All right, thank you.